Namaskar. In this video, we will learn how to calculate component three and component four of PSQI. So let's move to scoring instruction to get the C3 value, C3 score. So we have to examine question number four and assign score as follows. So let's move to data and see what is the question number four. So this is the data of question number four that we have to copy and paste in a new sheet. Just write four here. And now according to this, we have to write the value of component three here. Now, we have to apply filter. If the value is less than five, we have to score three. Five for less than five, we have to score three. If the value is in between five to six, we have to score two. If the value is in between six to seven, we have to score one. If the value is more than seven, we have to score zero. So this is how you have to score the three C three in PSQI. Now moving to component four, this is a little bit complex. So you have to go step by step and understand it in an easy way. For this, we have required question number one response, two response, three response, and four response. So let's copy first these four questions in sheet five. It is one, two, three, and four. Now we have to find habitual sleep efficiency. There is one numerator, one denominator. First, we will find denominator number of hours spent in bed. It will be calculated by taking the difference of question number one and three. So let's calculate the denominator and it is in hours. So it is eight minus three. It should be five here. It is twelve. Uh, my five forty-five minus twelve. It is almost five hours forty-five minutes. So how we write this? Five hours we can write five. Now forty-five minutes should be divided by sixty into a hundred. So it will come. 75.75. So this is 5.75. This is 10. This is 7. This is 8. This is 8. This is 8. This is 8. This is 6. This is 5. 
35. So it is around 6 point something. Any 6 hours we have hai and the last one is 5 minutes. So 5 by 12 into 100 we will do to get in a hours. So it will be around 8.33. So it will be around 6.08. It is 6. It is 8. It is also 8. It is 7. It is 9.30, 9.5. is 6.30, 6.5. So it is 5.5. It is eight, seven, and then nine. So we have got the denominator in hours. Now we have to calculate numerator in hours. What is the numerator? Number of hours left. The actual sleep. So denominator is number of hours spent in bed. And now we will minus second question in from this and we will get the numerator the actual sleep the number of hours left why we are doing so because numerator is simply the time spent in bed and the second part second question is the delay in sleep so it is a known sleeping time then we will get the sleeping time so we will Right. It is also in hours. So it is simply equals to This D2 divided by 60. And we will get a answer in hours. Now it is a known sleeping time. And we will minus this from 5. We will get a sleeping time. Or the number of hours extra slept. So we will get numerator in hours. I hope this is this should be clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can comment. I will try to take your question and reply to you in comments only. Now it is simply equals to minus and now But we, what I required is efficiency, habitual sleep efficiency. So to calculate efficiency, we have to simply apply the formula of efficiency equals to divide, not divide, in bracket numerator divided by denominator bracket close into my 100. So this is the actual formula. And this is how we will get the efficiency part. And from efficiency, we will get C4. To get C4, we have to apply filter. And then assign score value. So if the value is less than 65, there is no value less than 65 we have. The value is 65 to 74, score 2. We have only one value, scoring 2. The value is in between 75 to 84, two values are there. Assign score 1 here. And the rest.
what we can do select all and remove this that is better and we have to assign score zero it is more than 85 and by removing filter we can easily see the scoring of c4 and highlighting this so now you can see how we'll find c4 and c3 thank you